Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs here, with another Clone Trooper minifigure CMF series draft. Now, today we have obviously the most unlikely minifig CMF series ever, and I'm sure literally anything has a better chance of being made than this. But here are my top picks for what a Clone Commander CMF series would look like. Please remember to subscribe, and let's get into it! Starting off with our first pick, it is most obvious, is the Phase 2 Captain Rex. We got Captain Rex all the way back in 2013, and he is now going for over $100, which is insane. This figure would come with a newly printed torso, helmet, and legs, as well as possibly new capes. His accessories would be two newly molded pistols. I feel they would give him a pistol that would much more resemble his, but if not, then hey, that's, that's sad. But yeah, that would definitely be a great addition for our favorite captain. Next up, we have another famous clone, Commander, who you probably already know. It is a phase to Commander Cody. Commander Cody is the amazing clone trooper we see following Obi-Wan into battle and leading the 212. Somehow, we have not gotten a phase to Cody, but now we can. He would come with a visor, a new helmet, and leg print a new jetpack mold, and a hologram of Emperor Palpatine, so that way he can execute Order 66, all of which I think that's pretty cool. At number three, we have yet another famed clone commander. This is Commander Wolf. We have gotten Phase 1 Wolf and Old Man Wolf. Now I think it's time to get the in-between Wolf. And while not as prominent, he's definitely a favorite, and would obviously be rocking his amazing Phase 2 recon helmet, a dope print to match it. It would have his leg combo, a special printed face, a cybernetic eye, obviously on the new head mold, on the new head print. His accessory would be a blaster or a jetpack. At 4, we already have the most hated clone, that being Commander Fox. Like Fox or not, he easily has some of the coolest clone armor in the Star Wars universe. We got Fox in his Phase 1 armor, so it's only appropriate to get him some Phase 2. He would come with a helmet, visor, waist comma, and two pistols. At number 5, I thought it would only be appropriate to have Fives, of course. Five was a character we saw throughout the Clone Wars, and is everyone's second favorite clone, probably. Now Fives would be in his Citadel armor to match with our next pick, and I think his capes would have the ARC Trooper ones we see on the official LEGO ARC Trooper, but maybe printed on, or they have one color on each side. And it would make his accessory a briefcase with a clear piece that has the inhibitor chip printed on it. I think that would be a great accessory to have like a little printed on inhibitor chip of a 1x1 one one tile. And let's move on to the next one, which I'm sure you've already guessed. At number six, we have the somehow survivor of the Citadel. We have Echo. Uh, we also see Echo throughout the war, and we were shocked to find out he survived. For this Echo, we will be giving him his Citadel Arc Trooper armor, not his new one. He will have the same deal with the capes as Fives and a new print and everything. His accessory should be a uh, droid commando shield that he holds before he w goes MIA and explodes. And maybe his DC-15 blaster. I just think that would be cool. And let's move into the next one. At number 7, we have Boyle. Boyle was a well-known member of the 212th and served with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Cody. I think Boyle's figure would probably have a special printed head, obviously, because he has an amazing mustache. And I think that he would have an extra hair piece so that way when you take off the helmet, you can show off his killer mustache, and I love Boyle, honestly, so I think that would be great. But then our number eight spot goes to, you guessed it, Waxer. Waxer was another well-known member of the 212th. He was a loyal and kind soldier who made friends with Anuma, a girl Twi'lek, who went on to join the rebellion, actually bearing Waxer's armor, which is pretty cool, or at least it says Waxer and Boyle's name on it. Waxer sadly passed away at the hands of Krell's evil plans. This figure would have another new print, but fairly simple figure. His accessory would be a blaster, helmet, and binoculars from Umbara. Our number 10 spot goes to Commando Gregor. 
Since we got Gregor in his old man form, but no other one, I think it's appropriate that we finally get this beloved clone trooper who has appeared in more Rebels episodes than Clone Wars. This figure would come with a new helmet mold for the clone commander, specially printed legs and torso, a pack for his armor, as well as the newly molded commando gun. I think this would all be great and much loved. For number 10, we have one of the first figures I thought for this series, and it is Arc Trooper Jesse. Now, we see Jesse all throughout the Clone Wars, from the Battle of Seleucami to the Siege of Mandalore, and meeting his demise in the very saddening Order 66 arc. <laughs> Sad. This figure would come with a custom printed cape to the same effect of Five and Echoes, and an amazing looking helmet print. Next up, we have another fairly prominent Season 7 clone, Kix. Kix was a medic of the 501st and Rex's platoon. He was one of the coolest infantry clones, in my opinion, because of his red and blue markings. I just think they made him really stand out. And he had very cool armor and a backpack for medical supplies and a needle for him to help troopers. He would be epic, but probably an unlikely inclusion and deserves the number 11 spot. Now, up next, I have... A Phase 2 Commander Bly, well, the perfect place for LEGO to include Bly would have been with the Republic Fighter Tank with Aayla Secura. We sadly did not get him, but this is the way we could. Bly would come with his leg comma, capes would most likely be printed on his torso, and it would be pretty epic. His accessory would be a DC-15 rifle, and that's really all I got for Bly. For number 13 pick, we have Commander Bakara, another famed clone commander who served under Jedi Master Ki Adi Mundi. He would have plain Phase 2 torso and possibly with capes or a print on cape, but we don't know if it would be printed on the torso or otherwise. He would have a hem heavy helmet, unlike many other clones, along with a maroon comma. His accessory would be a data pad because I wanted to you know, spice stuff up with accessories and I hadn't given anyone a data pad yet. But. I thought he would be a pretty cool inclusion. Maybe his heavy helmet could be from the snow, the snow speeder, first order snow trooper ones. But yeah, let's move into our next pick. Now this next pick at number fourteen is actually a very tough pick, but I decided to end Captain Vaughn for some three thirty second representation. Vaughn would be very very similar to Commander Cody since that's basically what he is. Everything except for the printing would be the same as Commander Cody. And I re really wanted some clout for the boys in the 332nd to, you know, get that representation out. Uh, but that is Captain Vaughn for number 14. For numbers 15, 16, 17, and 18, we have the Delta Squad. Boss Fixer Scorching Sever, some of the most beloved clones from the beloved game, Clone Commandos. While the game wasn't canon, they did make a brief appearance in the Clone Wars. Boss would come in with his with his blaster. Fixer would have a modified sniper, and the others will vary. They will have custom backpacks, new helmets, m mold and prints, and they would honestly be absolutely awesome. And I would love to see Delta Squad in their Lego form. If you want to see a series two of clones, I would choose because I just scratched the surface here. There are so many characters I didn't mention. There are a lot of the five hundred first squad a lot of the other troopers i also want to do just one where you can get a bunch of different plane units but yeah so please let me know in the comments down below and tell me who i didn't get because i want to know and see if i don't already have them on my list and hopefully lego will do at least one or two of the figures i list down here that would be nice and also if you want to get your own clone troopers that are in the new 2020 design check out jonak toys and use code rstuds for 10 percent off he is Jesse, Rex, Kix, Bly, Card Case, literally everyone in the new Star Wars 501st Trooper Phase 2 type print. And I think it would be epic. I used a lot of his pictures for this video, so make sure to check him out. And remember to peace out and stay awesome.